Hello everybody and welcome back. So in the last tutorial we made sure we have the FBX file and the height map uh, being the same. So we have a, this is an FBX file, it's our reference, we can see that we do get what we export and so on. So now we're going to do the splat map in Houdini on this one. So yeah, let's do that. So in Houdini. We made this tree here. So this is the height field we output. And we do it out of remap here. And uh, this is the mesh, reference mesh. So, um, so here we have these fours, four, and I'm actually going to delete the breeze and water. I say in the past one I said we're going to save it but actually we're just going to use uh, height and mask so now here we only have height and mask and uh, we're going to make our things ourselves so the first thing I want to do is do an height field mask by feature this one height field mask by feature so this is going to be our uh, rock part and um, i'm going to color it to gray so it's kind of a rocky feeling to it and <clears throat> here you can do mask by slope i'm not going to do that i'm going to do mask by height so here you can see it's doing from zero to one so you can decide how much you want and if you do compute range you do you see it's going to uh, go to the lowest part and also to the highest part so if we do remove these parts you can do it yourself here how much you want so let's say we want it like this this is going to be a mountain or stone or rock let's do it as a rock so now we have a height field copy layer because what we have here this is a, a mask we're working on the mask now this is the red part so we want to change the mask to rock so now we have a rock layer and um, here um, let's see um, here we're going to do a blast and what I want to do here I want to keep only the rock and delete non-selected so this only contains the rock mask and uh, the why I want it like this is because here we're going to have the height instead. And then we're just going to do like this. We're going to merge them like this. And here we have the rock and height. And uh, I find it nice to do this. So um, this is my workflow. You can do it like uh, on the uh, same path, but I like to divide it like this. So this is going to be my um, rocks. And here we're going to do a height field visualize because we want to see what we have done. And I'm actually going to save this because sometimes this do yeah, crash it in it. So I'm going to do this uh, black here as a base and uh, you and then I'm going to do the first one going to be a uh, rock. And I'm going to have the rock to a rocky color. So this is nice. Now we know the rock is working. And now we're going to do the sand part. So um, I'm going to make a little bit more room here. And we're actually going to do some extra stuff here later. So if I do yet another one, height, 
height height field mask by feature you actually have it here the last notes you use is kind of in the memory so i'm going to do it here and this one going to be a little bit more sandy it's easier to keep track of so what i'm going to do here i'm going to do uh, mask different ways and then i'm going to combine them so here you can choose different things I'm going to do mask by occlusion. And uh, here, if you drag this one around, it's like almost like uh, ambient occlusion. So if we do it the other way around like this, now we can get all these kind of in, uh, in uh, how to say, convex. Is it? No, concave areas. So here we can kind of, side so this is going to be where sand is and also um yeah this is a sand area so that that's nice and we're going to make more of them so if we, in this one we're going to do height and if we do compute range and the min so here you see it doesn't really pick up the min part and also not the top part. So what we need to do is, if we delete this one, now it picks all the way down to the bottom, you see here. And we can delete this one too, and just use these ones, and drag them down like this. So now we have decided that we're going to have sand, like this. And um, now we want to combine these two. So what we can do is that we just do um, height field layer. So this is um, a mask. So we have layer bindings, we have mask layer mask. So that's what we're using. So we plug these two together and here we're going to work on the mask layer and we're going to do maximum because we if we if we would do add it would be um this value gonna be from zero to one so this node is generate the value from zero to one so this is zero and this is one and this is zero and this well this is zero and all the red is one i hope i said the same thing here this is zero and the red part is one. So if we do add, this is uh, two here because it's one plus one. So it will actually um, make our node uh, mask a little bit um, unnormalized. So you could do this clamp min and max. But then let's do this maximum because then we just do clamp it by using maximum to one and um, so that's how you combine them and I want some even more noise to this or sand on this map so I'm going to do yet another one and um, I'm going to remove mask by height and do um, slope So I want to do, I'm going to remove this one because this is how you change the slope, min and max angle. And um, here you can also tweak with these two. So you just try it out. And I'm going to have, I'm just going to try it out like a little bit like this. See how it turns out. So I want the um, sand to be put on the top a little bit. Yeah, let's try it out. So um, here we have the sand and if we do yet another one, then we just do max again. See now we get some sand on the top as well. 
So, uh, yeah. Let's keep that for now. So now we have the sand part. And actually, what we want to do, it's very important that the mask is um, not overriding each other. So this one is going to be one here. And also the sand part going to be one here too. We don't want the sand part to be have the mask at the same place where the sand is. So stone and sand can't show at the same time. So what we can do is if we take this one and then we just remove this height. So now we cover all the area as a mask. And what we can do, if we just take this one uh, height field layer and uh, plug it in here and we do it gray. And if we do, if we do here, the mask, we're going to do subtract. And then we subtract this part. So if we do like this, now we have subtracted the um, <clears throat> subtracted the sand from the rock part. So actually, let's see in this one. Visualize, visualize. I'm gonna remove it because I this is a little bit annoying. I realized. So now you see this is where it's gonna be stone. So this is nice, and this is where it's gonna be sand. So it's kind of the opposite of each other. So that's really nice. Then we just do this. So this is going to be instead of rock, we're going to do sand. This blast is going to save only the sand layer because here we have a mask and a height and a sand. And now we only have a sand. So we have it like this. And um, now we only have rock height sand. If we didn't use this blast, now you see we have a lot of stuff going on. So this is kind of we really need to sort out so we don't have too many of the same. So now we can check here if we do the sand here. And here we have it. Isn't this nice? So um now, when we have this part, we want to do height field output. And um, now when, when we do splat maps, I'm just going to do, we're going to do dollar, no, dollar, dollar, hip. So it's next to the hip file and it's going to be the splat map.targa and targa we're gonna be we're gonna 16 bit load point and the resolution we're gonna do 2048 by 2048 i want to match it with the um, height field that we have here and um i don't know if you really need that i'm just doing it actually and in the red one, we're going to have a rock. And in the green one, we're going to do the sand. And uh, we're going to do an outer remapping on these two. So we, I'm not going to use these two and export. And it's going to cause an error for us. I'm just going to show you what's going to happen. And also we need to flip this. We actually need to do like this. And um, if we save it. And now we have our splat map. So if I just double click it and get it here, you see um, we have the red one, we have the green one. And there is some stuff about, about SR, uh, sRGB and RGB the color space. You might not really see it here, but it's actually black value here. And um, so this is actually not a really good mask. I'm going to show you how to address it. So the thing is, in the train tool, you got utilities 
and you got terrain splat map. Here, you want to put your splat map, and then you want to apply this to the terrain. And in order to do that, you need to first have it selected. And also, you need to push this uh, paint terrain and make sure you have this paint terrain selected. Then, and only, only then, you see this layer menu. And what do you want to do here? You want to add a layer. Uh, actually, let's see. Okay. If you create the layer, um, I'm going to show you rock. Rock layer uh layer yeah that's gonna be rock layer and we create it and then i'm gonna use this uh here it's called v2 underscore rock diffuse so now we have supposed to have the rock here and we do it's really tiny so um, in the, I'm just going to scale this one up 50 to 50. So we have a little bit more rock. So in order to add the splat map, you need to do this uh, first step to add um, layer palette. And now if you apply, apply to the terrain and here you have it. And you can tell there is um, something weird going on. And um, the reason for this first error is because you need to have these two populated. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take um, this one here. And I'm going to do like this. So this one I'm going to take the mask and we're going to do the breeze. So this is going to be the, the breeze. And we're going to make this one here. This is going to be the water. We're not going to use them. We just need to populate the splat map. Otherwise it doesn't really work. And um, now if we do Populate the blue to the debris and the alpha to water and save to disk. Now it should work. So if we do, we have it connected, apply with terrain. Hmm. Okay, I got it to work. The thing applied to terrain didn't work. Why it didn't work is because you need to update it. Um, so you need to pull it here again. So that's how I got the rock to work. So now you see we have the rock, but we don't have the sand. So make a, let's make a new layer here. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna make a sand layer. So we do a create, and then we're gonna we have the version two sand diffuse. And um, I'm actually gonna just do this layer properties. We're going to tweak that to 40 by 40. And here we have it. Nice. So I told you there is an issue. Maybe you don't really see it, but you will see very clearly soon. You see, the, it looks like the fade here is a um, little bit black. And it is. And the problem is because this splat map needs to be not SR, uh, srgb it needs to be rgb that we uh, did um exported it in actually i think we had 16 bit and if we do apply and if we now again uh, select the terrain and then populate it here apply to the terrain oh wow Oh yes, yeah. so the thing is, <clears throat> sorry, the thing is, this needs to be an RGBA 32-bit, and um, this, you need to take the, this one off, and it's supposed to be read-write, I believe. 
So if you do apply and then we just update it again, apply to terrain. We need to select the terrain and then we apply it. And now you see now this um, dark fades is uh, disappeared. So in a nutshell, this is actually it. This is how you do it. It was uh, pretty quick and uh, but yeah, I covered all the basics. So um, this is how you do it. And uh, also what you can do, and that's really nice here. If you do create and you do terrain layer, you can do your uh, Save your rock layer. Uh, let's do one one of five rock layer, and in here you can populate uh, the rock and the rock normal, and then you can uh, work with the smoothness and specular and tiling. And I'm gonna do um, yet another one, but this one gonna be the sand layer so in the sand layer if i spell it right sand layer and i'm gonna place the sand i'm gonna do the normal and the normal scale i'm gonna leave it like this so now down here you can actually just um if i remove them Now you can actually just add layer and then you have uh, 105 rock layer. Yeah, it should be this one. I don't understand why it's two, but yeah, this one. And then you need to add the sand layer 105. Okay. Maybe because I have um, a few others since I tried out before. So let's do this uh, one of high rock layer. Yeah. No, why? What did I do? Oh, righty. Let's do the splat map again. So apply the terrain. Okay, now here we got it. And also what you can do you can do layer palette, you can save as. So if you save it next to you, your, um, yeah, where you want it. I'm gonna have it here. I'm gonna do desert rock and sand. And now we have it here. So next time you can just drag this one in here instead. So that's nice. So you then you have it a little bit more uh, prepared. So thank you so much for watching.